Come on. Let's go. Sweet cheese. <sighs> Nick? Nick! Nick, come on, wake up! Uh, we're off duty today. Nick, I have something important to say. Just text me, please. Nicholas, I'm serious! Okay, okay! Jeez, when you call me Nicholas, it means that I'm in great danger. You bet! <sighs> May I take a shower and do other things before you ruin the rest of my day? Yes, it'd be good, I think. Wow, I'm feeling much better now. Well, what is this important thing you want me to know? Nick, I... I'm pregnant. Huh? <laughs> ha! <laughs> nice try, Fluff. You almost got me. As if it were even possible. Your... your nose is twitching, so it means... Carrots! Are you sure? Is it for real? Yes, it is. I just took a pregnancy test and... Judy! Oh, Judy! This is the happiest day of my life! I love you, Judy! I love you so much! You've made me the happiest mammal on Earth! Nick! Please stop! Stop! Oh, sorry, I didn't hurt you, did I? No, Nick, you didn't, but this isn't the problem. Problem? You mean, because we're from different species, you think our baby might have some problem, right? That wasn't what I meant. I don't understand. Nick, please, don't make things worse for us. Judy, what are you talking about? Nick, I, I don't want this child. <gasps> no! I... I can't believe you said that! Nick, hear me out! Please tell me I heard wrong! Why, Judy? Why? Let me explain, Nick! So explain yourself! Why don't you want our baby? There's no baby yet! I'm just in my first month of pregnancy! And you decided on your own that this is gonna be the last month, ain't you? I... Nick... Let's talk about it like adults, right? Uh, right? Okay, tell your tale. Thanks. Well, at first, I believed you couldn't get me pregnant. Yes, I do know that there are some cases of interbreeding, but they're extremely rare, and none of them involved a couple formed by a pred and prey. So I foolishly believed we didn't have to take any precautions. But how wrong I was. I still don't understand why you... Because I'm afraid! Afraid? Of what? Well... In part, I fear our child might be, you know, some kind of freak. You really think so? Why not? It isn't impossible. Moreover, a baby of yours might be a little too big for me. You don't know for sure. Nobody knows, and it scares me. So what you're saying is, Hey Nick, even if you can get me pregnant, I don't want to have any children with you. Did I hit the mark, Judy? Nick, I should have had this talk with you earlier, and I'm really sorry for not doing so. You have no idea how hard it is for me to have to tell you these things. But I must say that there is another good reason. And it is? My career! What? You know I'm about to be promoted to lieutenant, and if I accept this risky pregnancy, my career will be halted for months, or years, or even forever in the worst case scenario, if I suffer any sequela or an ill-fated pregnancy. It's not only my life and my career that are in danger here, Nick. I became a symbol, an inspiration to those small mammals out there who also want to help make Zootopia a better place to live. The more I am successful in my career, the more they get confident in their own abilities. For this cause, and to make this dream come true, I did my best and sacrificed many things. And I don't want to let these achievements slip through my fingers like sand. That's it? Your career? 
I should have known you were going to throw it in my face. But you surprised me, Judy. I thought I knew you, but I was wrong. You don't have the right to say that to me! You know who I am! You know what I am! You know what's at stake for me since we first met! And you know full well that I did everything for my career! Yes, I do know. It seems like you could even kill our baby for your career. Uh! <clears throat> Nick! Nick! Forgive me, I lost my temper! Huh? Nick? Nick, I beg you, please forgive me. You don't need to do that. I didn't want to hurt you. Please don't leave me this way. I need you. I need you now more than ever. Trust me when I say I still love you. Nick? Judy? Um? What would have happened if your mother, while pregnant with you, had decided to interrupt her pregnancy? Nick, it's useless. I know what you- I'll tell you what would have happened. If you hadn't been born, Judy, this world would be as bleak as ever. And without your light, I'd still be on the streets, living a meaningless life. That's not true, Nick. I'm sure you would- Judy, listen. There are people who make a difference in the world. And you are one of them. Even being a little bunny, you stopped an absurdly nasty conspiracy and helped change the minds and hearts of millions. To me, things like these could never ever have happened without you. Nick. For God's sake, Judy, give this unborn child the opportunity to do the same. I beg you, please let your light continue to shine through him or her. No. As I said before, it's useless. Sorry, Nick, but I've made up my mind. My body, my rules. I see. Any chance you might change your mind? No, Nick. <sighs> Neither will I. Nick, don't go away! Please stay with me! Let's talk this over! Do you want to talk? Well, there's something I'd like to know. Why didn't you keep it a secret from me? I mean, why didn't you just get rid of our child without me knowing anything? It... it wouldn't be the most honest thing to do. What? I thought you deserved to know. Huh. It'd have been better for you, for us, if you had kept me in the dark about your premeditated sin. Goodbye, Judy. Nick! Where are you going? Don't worry, I will survive. Nick, if you walk out that door, you don't have to come back anymore! Nick! Nick! No, no, no! Nothing lasts forever. Even an apparently everlasting love that has triumphed over the odds and many challenges may eventually come to an end. Thanks for watching. Check the latest episode and also playlist with similar episodes like this one. See you in the next video.